A rare behind the scenes look at how a Chicago museum catalogs nature in the city. Yeah, WGN's Patrick Elwood takes us inside the Peggy Notabart Nature Museum's specimen collection. It has been a fixture on the civic scene since 1857. The Chicago Academy of Sciences Peggy Notabart Nature Museum. Founded by citizen scientists, it was the city's first public museum. 6,000 specimens. As it marks Founders Day this Thursday, Don Roberts, who is the Senior Director of Collections, is offering us a rare behind the scenes look inside the museum's Ravenswood Collections facility that features nearly 400,000 specimens, including preserved birds, mammals, plants, fossils, mollusks, and more some of which are over 200 years old. Every one of these cabinets that's in our collection storage area is full of specimens. And every single one of these specimens is a unique individual that has a little piece of the story that we use to put together a big puzzle, essentially, in understanding of the nature and world around us. The Chicago Fire of 1871 devastated both the city and the Academy. The Academy's building and most of its contents were decimated, including materials housed in what was thought to be a fireproof vault. Despite this near knockout punch, the Academy began rebuilding the collection. This is an Eastern Bluebird. So it's come to be in this fast-paced world that we live in. The Peggy Notabart is a step back in time. Oh, there is some cool IT on display at the museum, and soon much of its vast catalog will go online as well. It's like our botany specimens, those preserved plants are very rarely seen. Um, we store them here in cabinets, um, very similarly to a library collection where they are housed in shelves and inside cabinets, but we are in the process of putting all of that data and scanning them so that they have a digital image to make that available online. But if you're looking for some time, some place, where as the saying goes, you can hear yourself think, this is the place for you. Always has been and promises to be moving forward as well. A lot of the bird specimens that we are going to be um, sharing with the visitors are ones that were removed from exhibit. And a rare glimpse of what was and what still can be for the young and the still young at heart. We are doing a lot of work with the mounted specimens. So Admission is free Thursday for Illinois residents. Patrick Elwood, WGN News.